Tears of the Kingdom is an incredible game, but even those incredible games sometimes have their own flaws. And of course, as it is a great game, it's not perfect. And there's some things that I guess a lot of us expected to be included this time and definitely wasn't there. And I want to start getting into some of these negative things and how Nintendo could have fixed them. Of course, I want to make it a positive video at the same time by talking about what they could have done. But one of those things extremely shocked me. One of the things I was super excited to explore and jump into in Tears of the Kingdom was the Akala Citadel. This area is one of the most important places in The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, and I thought it would be a huge turning point and something even more massive in Tears of the Kingdom. And I couldn't have been more wrong. What makes the Akala Citadel so special? Well, it was the last standing ground before Hyrule lost the battle. It's where a lot of people lost their lives. A lot of soldiers laid their lives down on the ground as it was their last stand as they were pushed back all the way to this tower before inevitably being defeated by the guardians that purged the castle. Now, with that said, we also had tons of guardians walking around it and guardians flying around it in Breath of the Wild, but we were never able to go inside of the citadel and see the inside. But in Age of Calamity, we actually got to see that battle and change the tide and seeing what happened if we were to save everybody at that tower. We saw the great battle unfold and amazingly, we were able to go inside of the citadel and see the varying hallways and staircases and levels to the floors. It was actually a pretty cool fort to explore and run around in. And that is in a warrior's game. So of course, my mind wondered how it would look in Tears of the Kingdom, especially now after Breath of the Wild, they went back and fleshed this place out. I thought for sure it would be a perfect way to flush it out in Tears of the Kingdom and have even more sections to explore and more hallways to go down, but there's nothing. All the different entrances and exits within Age of Calamity, they're all sealed up. And the only entrance towards the front, which used to be the entrance inside this place, is now changed into a monster cave, which it's now the Oculus Citadel Ruins Cave. And it's just a cave full of monsters. That, that's it. That is the entirety of the inside of Oculus Citadel which, I'm sorry, was a huge letdown. Considering the fact that caves like this exist all over the map, I mean, literally, you can find hundreds of caves full of enemies, I expected at least this area to have something more unique down below. Now, we could also explore the depths of the castle, and it had lots of new hallways and entrances that we've never seen before, which I thought was really, really cool, but I don't know how they couldn't have done the same thing with Tears of the Kingdom. It's not even like they would have to make something wild or new. This place literally exists. They they have the assets, they have the files, I'm sure, from Hyrule Warriors. Like, this stuff was made within the same engine. How could they have not just added what was already in Age of Calamity? It just makes sense to me. Maybe the reasoning is because they wanted this place to be special in Breath of the Wild in its own right, and maybe they said, you know, we've already showed you what it looks like in Age of Calamity, so yeah, maybe. But once again, it's a game about fighting and taking over keeps, so you don't really get to explore and find things. And I feel like there could have been a lot of secrets and cool things that tied into the history of the kingdom and stuff, and into deeper story, and I just wish they would have went there. It just kind of sucks that we have a game about going underground and finding ruins of old civilizations, and even having something huge like the depths, but we can't go underground and explore something that has been under this rubble all these years. Now, maybe this place really is just destroyed from all the rocks and rubble and there just doesn't exist any caves or networks anymore. That could be the case, but I don't know. To me, that's just a lame excuse to not have this place underneath the ground. I mean, it was already underneath the tower, so why in the world would it all be gone? There's lots of civilizations that's underneath the ground that still exist, yet this one is just you know, destroyed in history, I guess. I feel like that's also a thing with a lot of locations in this game. And I heard a lot of people bring them up where they jumped into this game super excited to go see how some place that they loved changed or a place that had full potential to have underground cave networks and show what was underneath just didn't have anything. Well, yet there was places in this game that had just some random sinkholes in the desert, yet it led to some really cool underground structures and jail cells in the Gerudo area. So, I mean, yes, there were some places that definitely felt rewarding once we found them, and there were also places that felt like a low blow to us fans who really wanted to see them changed in Tears of the Kingdom. But with Oculus Citadel being one of my most disappointing ones, what locations on the map would you guys say you were disappointed with if there were any? 
please let me know down below by commenting your location and what you would like to see changed with it and what happened with it actually with this game or if anything changed at all let me know your location and what you would add or change to it down below and you could feature in a future video where i talk about some locations that could have used some changes in tears of the kingdom but thank you so much for tuning in make sure you leave a like and subscribe to stay up to date on all things tears of the kingdom as most of you watching this video right now are not yet subscribed so it'll only take a second leave a like subscribe and i'll see you all on the next one See you guys.